Okay, do it with flourish, Julian. What are we doing today? Today is the 27th of February, 2019, and it is day 13, unlucky for some, or lucky for others, of GHV Airfield Savers. Capital. Hello again. Today we're going to do stage two of starting to build the model of the East Anglian Air Ambulance. The other day we did stage one, which was to give the sprues, these yellow things where all the parts are attached to it, a quick wash in soapy water just to make sure that there's no release agent still attached to it, which can uh, uh, cause problems when you're trying to paint with some paints. Today we're going to finish off what we started at the end of last time, which is doing the priming. And then Sunday's going to have a go at priming hers. These are the actual uh, fuselage halves of the bottle, which I've taken off my sprue, which Sally will have hers on her sprue, so she can do the whole thing at once. I've already had, had a little go up priming it on one side, but it's not completely covered. So what I'll now do is attach these to the stand with a little bit of white tack, so they don't blow off. And then I will prime using a Humbrol primer. It's the lid off, shake it. Now normally I would do this in a spray booth but having the spray booth in front of us here uh, makes it very difficult for you to see. So I'm doing it spray boothless but shooting away. Now I am in my kitchen, I have got an extractor fan and it is fairly airy here. The Humbrol sprays don't smell that much, not quite as bad as the Halford ones. So let's have a go and see how far we can get with this. So shake a little distance from it and a quick spray, spray, turn the table, spray, Turn the table again, spray, spray, still blows it a bit, spray, spray, spray again. And there we go, we've coated the outside of that. Now, these, harder to do like that, but what we can do if I've done one part of it is to hold it in the corner and just spray a distance away from it. Just so it's lightly covered. It doesn't need to cover it completely because we're going to be over spraying it anyway with another colour, just enough so the paint can get purchased on it. I'll do the rest of that once that's dried enough to hold. And again, I advise other people doing this if you're in a restricted area to wear a face mask. But I'm doing it very quickly now, so I'm not going to breathe in too much of it. There we go. That is the first priming of the sprues. Let's just do the last bit on this one. Hold that, it's almost dry already. There we go. Then hold these up. The sprues are now primed both sides, ready to take the paint. And I have got earlier a rattle cam of yellow, but we really need uh, a few hours I usually like to leave it a whole day for the, for the, for the actual primer to set completely. Uh, so we'll come to actually doing the painting uh, on another day. Thank you.